Hi guys, I hope you're all okay. Today I thought I'd sit down and film another festive video. You know I love a festive video. And today I thought I'd show you what's inside the children's Christmas Eve box this year. I love Christmas Eve. I think it's such a magical night. I actually think it's more magical than Christmas Day sometimes just because of the excitement of the children and oh, it's just such a nice day. This year Harrison and Everly have got a joint box which I'm also really excited about. Um, Everly didn't have one last year because she was only about well, she was only a few days old so it wasn't really necessary um, so I've had lots of fun putting together their boxes um, and yeah I'm going to show you what's inside. So the first thing in our Christmas Eve box this year is of course some chocolates, some Father Christmas chocolates. What is Christmas without a few sweet treats? So I popped these in, um, probably more so for Harrison, although I'm sure Evelyn may have a cheeky little one. Um, but yeah, I feel like you can't make a Christmas Eve box without putting something sweet inside. Um, and also, I will love these too. The next thing I've popped inside our box this year is actually Harrison and Everly's Father Christmas letters from the man himself. Um, I just thought that these being inside the Christmas Eve box will just up the magic a little bit and get Harrison more so a little bit more excited, even though I'm sure that's not going to be a problem. He's already excited and counting down the days. Um, but yeah, I popped these inside. I just thought it'll be nice. I don't think you have to go out and buy new things to put in a Christmas Eve box, even if it's just something very traditional that you get out every year. I just think it's a nice idea. Um, but one thing I do like to do is every year buy um, a new Christmas book. I think there's something so special about Christmas books. So because I've got two children this year, I decided to pick up the Christmas collection by Raymond Briggs, which actually has three books inside. So this has Father Christmas Goes on Holiday, Father Christmas, and of course, the snowman. As busy as Christmas is, I do think that Christmas Eve is a nice time to sit down, watch a movie and do an activity. So normally I would buy Harrison like arts and crafts or something, but this year I actually decided to pop in something that Harrison loves, we all love anyway, um, and it is CBB's art magazine. This video is actually in collaboration with CBB's magazine because Harrison is such a fan. Every time we're in the supermarket, he's like, can we get the new CBeebies magazine? And I just think it's a really nice treat for them. CBeebies and CBeebies art magazines are fun, creative and educational magazines for preschool children and they support the early years development too. As you can see up here in the corner, it says that it supports the early years curriculum. So now that Harrison's at school, I just think they're a great magazine for him to sit down and do and we love flicking through the activities. We really do love CBeebies magazines. There's so many great activities. There's colouring, writing, there's normally mazes and games and puzzles, as well as the arts and crafts too. Um, Harrison really enjoys them and we find that we keep going back to the magazine every time we get it. So it's never just done in one day. It can normally last up to a couple of weeks when the next issue is out anyway. It's also full of their favourite characters from CBeebies too, which keeps them super duper engaged and yeah, it's just so much fun. If you want to find out more about these magazines, then you can head over to Twitter or their Facebook page. They're both available now to buy in newsagents and supermarkets and I'm really excited to get stuck in to these with Harrison. I think the CBeebies art magazine is going to be particularly fantastic in this year's Christmas Eve box. Finding an activity to put in for Everly um, when she will have just turned one on the 21st of December was slightly difficult, but I thought that this year it would be really, really nice if we did like a hand mold of her or a hand imprint. So I've got this set here um, and yeah, I just thought that would be something really, really nice, a nice keepsake for us just to kind of remember how small she was on not her first Christmas officially but we are kind of treating it as her first Christmas um so yeah I thought that was a nice idea for her I popped these two soft toys into the Christmas Eve box this year they're not new this little one was from last year from Everly's first real Christmas and this one here is actually a Christmas decoration but I thought they look a little bit special in their Christmas Eve box and They'll probably play with them. Harrison asked me for some slime for Christmas, so I thought I'd pop it into his Christmas Eve box this year. Um, what kid does not love slime? Um, so yeah, I'm sure he'll have lots of fun with that on Christmas Eve. I put these little reindeer ears in for Everly. I just thought they'd be quite cute for a photo. I always like to take a photo of them with their Christmas bits and their, I don't know, the tree and their Christmas Eve box. Um, so I just popped it in really 
more sofa I don't forget and then the final three things in our Christmas Eve box are quite practical things so I've put in both of their little stockings to hang on their door and um, Harrison will love running upstairs I'm sure and putting this on his door I just thought that will up the excitement once again um, I've got their matching <laughs> Christmas pyjamas just like the books I do like to get them new Christmas pyjamas every year so I have these ones with their names on them and last but by no means least because this is a crucial part of Christmas Eve we have Father Christmas's tray for his carrot and his mince pie possibly a donut um and then a cup here for I think he's gonna fancy a cup of tea this year um so maybe a cup of tea and a donut or maybe some Christmas chocolates uh, that is that is everything that we are going to be putting into our Christmas Eve box this year I do think a Christmas Eve box is such a nice idea and it has become somewhat of a tradition for us which I really really like I enjoy making them and it's just something a little bit special um, and yeah it just gives you that opportunity as well to sit down with them and just get excited and be like oh what's in your box um, so yeah we've got pyjamas, stocking, new book, slime, treats and activity such as this I do think it's a really really good idea I'd love to know what you're putting into your Christmas Eve box is a Christmas Eve box something that you've done every year um, or will this be your first one um, I'd love to know your Christmas traditions I think it's so interesting to hear what other people do when they're celebrating I hope you've enjoyed this video if you have please do give me a big thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already um, it really would mean the world to me and make my Christmas um, but yeah let me know what your Christmas traditions are I would love to hear them and yeah if I don't speak to you before, which I'm sure I will, um, have yourself a very, very Merry Christmas.